coach just start off with this a big win, even though it's you know 16 and 0 is maybe it's not something that you care as much about, but it is something that's very important for this program. Well, I, you know, it's something uh, we've never done. Uh, so I'm not. You come off last season and you go, what can you do next? And I'll be dang if this bunch of kids doesn't go undefeated, which I, I wouldn't. Be. I'm glad I don't bet uh, because I'd have lost a lot of money on my own team. Uh, the thing that the thing that I have to give this team credit for, they they they've taken years off my life. I'm a lot balder, but they find a way to win, and ultimately that's the goal of the game is to win. And we don't do it very pretty most of the time, and it's it's a lot of times somebody different that steps in and, and contributes, and uh, you know they found ways to win, but. I mean, how do you give up 15 offensive rebounds, turn it over 17 times, a team shoot 18 for 19 from the free throw line, and you expect to win? And and our bunch, our bunch says, well, we're going to let them do that, but we're going to go get 23 offensive rebounds, and we're going to put up 87 points, and you just go, well, okay. Um, but, you know, there's so much we've got to do better uh, as we head into the tournament. The only thing I hope they don't change is they find ways to win. I hope they keep doing that. Obviously, you have a tradition of yourself, but you always talk about the Tennessee Techs and the Middle Tennessees. You're now in that conversation. Just a sixth school to ever go undefeated in OBC history. Well, again, if, if you'd have thought, if, you, if you'd have go, back, go back to last year with what all we lost, the senior class was unbelievable. Uh, and then we lost, basically, we only returned one starter. And we only returned one kid. Well, that was two starters, I guess you could say. Two out of our top six. We're the only ones that came back. Uh, so th this coaching staff has done a great job. Coach Russell's phenomenal. Best coach I've ever been around. We've all worked our rear ends off to try to give these kids a chance. And, uh, and I tell you, they, they figure out ways. And I, I can't speak enough to what they were able to do this year. You head into the tournament. You're playing Eastern Illinois now. 16-0 means nothing until you tip off on Wednesday. Well, think about it. Who would want to play us right now in the tournament more than anybody else? Well, EIU, because they're going, we had the lead with less than a minute to go last week. So, you know, they're a great ball team. Uh, they're a hard matchup for us. And tournament play is all about matchups. It's about matchups and guards. And uh, this will be, be a tough one. But if these kids, you know, if you can't win that one, you don't deserve to keep playing. Uh, but these kids, if they have taken every challenge thrown in front of them so far and handled them, but now it's a whole brand new ball game. We'll see. Does the new format change like it has prepared all the fields this year? Well, I don't like the format. I don't think it's right. Uh, does it change how we prepare? No, I think it just we pray that we can win and rest. Uh, because it, you've got a grueling schedule now to win it. I mean what what is the what's what do you get for being the one or the two seed? Well, you get to play a day earlier and be there longer. That's a that's a reward. So you get to be out of your bed longer. I, I don't I don't agree with it. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's what the conference should be doing. But here's the thing: I can sit here and say that, and everybody's gonna think I'm saying that because I'm the one seed. If I would have been the eight seed, or if I would have not been in it, I would have said the same thing. Because the idea is, like the men, you want your best team representing you in the tournament. We have changed our format not to do that. But you got to win what's set up in front of you, so we got to win three games. If we can't do it, we don't deserve to go on. I don't know if you asked that question, but that's what I answered. Just tell me what you need for the last three What do you need for her to play that to Monique Jackson? Monique? Yeah. We need Monique to do what she did tonight in the last ball game. 12 and 11 tonight. She had 21 and 7 the other night. I mean, she's, she's playing like a senior that knows that her career is winding down and she's stepping up her game. And that's and we're kind of looking at her going, where's that been all year? So if if Mo does that and Caldwell does what she did in the second half, you're talking about we got 36, 46, 56, 57, 50, we got 60 points out of our two our post positions. If we can do that every game and we get beat, I'll, I'll be okay. Because that's that's impressive. So hopefully Mo can keep that up. Uh, she could add a few more, but we're going to have to have some players that make big plays in this tournament. And, and 
we're going to have to have some guards step up. This tournament's about guards. So our guards got to play well. Thanks, Coach.